everyone. I'm Gabby. I'm Ryan's cousin. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us in the celebration of Ryan's life. Everyone here meant so much to him, um, and you taking the time out of your lives to make the trip here means the world to us. Um, thank you to my aunt and uncle, Pat and Tom, uh, for putting together this beautiful night for all of us to come together. Um, it really feels like everything Ryan would have wanted. He loved you both so much and was really so lucky to have you both as parents. Ryan and I, along with my brother Jordan, grew up together. We were the same age. Uh, me born in November, and Ryan in a few months later in April. Growing up, our parents, Gloria and Manny, would watch us while our moms were at work. <laughs> we would often begin our play dates with a, so what do you want to play? Um, and would pick for a hint from a handful of choices, like drawing, building card houses, playing figures, um, or playing make-believe, diving into one of Ryan's many worlds uh, that, create, that he created, me always following his lead. I distinctively remember us playing the X-Files, and there was often a debate. <laughs> there, was often, there was often a debate over which one of us got to play Jillian Anderson Scully. <laughs> When we were younger, I often thought of myself as the adventurous one, unafraid of watching Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark, climbing trees, having a birthday party at a gymnastics gym, leading to one of Ryan's famous lines in our family, but you could get hurt. <laughs> in response to my aunt asking him to try one of the stations at the party, probably the rings or something. Um, but over the course of this past year, um, Ryan showed me what bravery truly looks like. countless treatments and hospital stays. He put himself out there, sharing his fears, his hopes, his dreams, and his art with the world. Finding connection with his community and fostering friendships that meant everything to him, ultimately getting him through each day. During our phone conversations over this past year, I got to know him in a way I never really did before. And for that, I'm really forever grateful. I just wish I had more time. Um, I'm gonna miss his infectious laugh that I'm sure everyone here um, can hear in their head right now. Um, his old soul, the way he towered over me when we hugged. <laughs> <laughs> and the two of us being the designated elves at Christmas time, having to hand out gifts when it was our <laughs> time to because we were the youngest. Um, in my last text message with Ryan after his transplant, I asked him how he was feeling. He said I'm able to get some rest, but the nurses have to check on me a lot. I'm bringing as much joy into the room as I can, currently rocking out to a good old early 2000s playlist on Spotify. <laughs> he said, I mean, Nat Natalie Bruglia is torn, and Avril Lavigne's Skater Boy is a great combo. <laughs> Ryan, I love you. Um, I know you're at peace, and I hope you're surrounded by everything that gives you joy, um, that gave you joy in this life. 